Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode on Crash Bandicoot Warped Part 8. And uh, I don't want to go down there because I've done three time trials off camera. As you can see, three goals. Um, let's start on the Deep Trouble level. I'm not going to go for the Red Jam because it is not very nice. It's really annoying to collect. So, and that means I can't get all the boxes then. Oh, I didn't even mean to lose that in my mind. Let me dig it slow and go around here. I really hate this level. I don't even want to say why. Okay, I'll say why. It's just the idea of it. It is really good that they incorporated a swimming level you wouldn't expect into a Crash Bandicoot game. So it's a great idea, but I really hate it. Not, not to offend anyone who created or anything. I don't think I'm offending them, but so everyone has their own opinion of the game, but. And this is my opinion, I do not like it. I've got the crystal already, it's doing better than a four. But then again, we haven't even exited the level yet. Because this is where the bone stream is. And um, like a TNT cut spawns here. When you get to the end of the level and you backtrack again, which I think you guys know I hate backtracking. I don't know actually, should I do it? Should I go 40? There's a checkpoint, so. No point in getting that really, is there? There's like TNT, yeah. You can just easily destroy that. Well, that lost my thingy. But yeah, I'm going to go for the red gem. There's nothing wrong with it. And then you just basically touch that, and then it blows everything up. And you get the chance to go under here. You get a checkpoint because that's, that's how nice the game is. And I did not know that would be there. I'm trapped. I ain't going too good, is it? This is near the end. I haven't got all the boxes and all that. Yeah. Well, at least get, at least you get the red gem. You guys are happy for that, aren't you? I'm happy for that. I'm assuming this would be the only gem which I would never get go back to re re revisit the level for, but I'm really proud I got it. So yeah, we've done that. Let's go on to the final level in Oopsilon final level in the water room which is an annoying ra race level I really don't like the racing levels and you guys might you guys might not but my opinion is that they not the nicest things to be racing on I'd rather be playing on 
um, the tomb levels, which are actually quite a lot of them in the next warp room, which is awesome. That's something to look forward to. But there's also a racing one. Not racing one. There's also a flying one. Bye bye, blimp. Which may sound awesome. I'm not going to take the extra route. I don't want to get the gem for the thingy, but I'm getting pushed around by that guy. And I mean, there's not a lot of boost pads at the start of this, so I'm going for the fastest run. So by doing the lowest jump there, I think it goes in line. So I'm basically tight in, in tight around this corner. There's a really tight corner in a second. I don't think you hit this. There you do. Oh, the hell! Yeah, this is the tight corner. You don't want to go off road here. You'd rather just keep on the course, like I'm doing right now. I want to say I'm doing better than I usually do. Oh, dude. I'm near the end anyway. Don't want to fail at the end, so I like to take it slow. I can see the finish line. Well, I couldn't, but, you know. <laughs> Jesus, we did it. Oh, I hate these racing levels. Slurping me drink. You know what I mean. Let me just see some bit of zeal on my lads. I've never actually checked it. If that thing's there, am I on it? Am I on any of these? Yeah, I am. I just check in because since that I can't do any of this level, see so if I can go back to any levels. This is easy. Easy boss I can do in about three minutes, yeah. I don't want to go over ten minutes really. Really does. Um clearly. Annoy me. Yeah, that's the one. This is an easy boss. I don't even want to try doing the glitch. Well actually not. I can just keep running back here, it's a little trick thing you can do. It's not. It's not a cheat. It's an Easter. Uh, actually, I think it is a glitch, but I don't think you'd count it as a glitch. Every time you hit him, he gives you less platform to jump on. Doesn't really make a difference, to be fair. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Doesn't really make a difference. Well, for me, it doesn't. I know it's less platform to jump on, but it still makes it still easy to get along there. If you actually complete this boss, um, you actually get the spin attack. I think, yes, the spin attack, and you can just easily not the spin attack. What I'm talking about, you've already have the Super spin. Thank God for that. Oh, it didn't, it didn't wait. Thank God for that. So he's just saying stuff. And I want to thank you guys all for watching because that's the end of this episode. Um, please stay tuned for my next one. And I'll be in my favourite warp room of all. The next warp room. Doesn't that sound exciting? See you later.